Today is the last day of Open Studio, but there's still time to visit artists starting at 11 a.m. Now make sure you stop by the Solmar Gallery at 934 Brandon Street to pick up your catalog and maps. Call them at area code 415-861-9838 for details. We'll be back to meet two artists who are participating in this year's Open Studios program. Welcome back. Last weekend, over 10,000 people took advantage of Open Studios to visit Hunter's Point artists. Now, this was a rare chance to see workspaces on naval base that normally is off limits to civilians. For artist Cynthia Tom and her parents, this was their first Open Studio experience. I just think it's a wonderful venue for artists because it's the only event that's not juried. There's no one deciding if my work's good enough to enter into this exhibition. And I think there needs to be more gallery owners and store owners that take chances on new artists you know, that don't decide, well, I'll take this because it's going to sell. But even though I like this other piece of artwork, it might not sell, so I won't want it. So then that artist has lost um, any chance of making any money. Um, but Open Studio, it's, you just, we pay a very minimal fee, and Jeff Nathanson of Open Studio and his staff have been fantastic. And they are always there for us. They're always, they always have a kind word to say. And dealing with 400 artists, it's got to be impossible for most people to do. So I'm really happy to be involved with it. While I was growing up, um, my mom always had us doing something. We were always making something. But when I hit college, it was business, take business courses. So. I was told I can't draw, so therefore I'm not an artist. And about a year and a half ago, I just started putting little things together. And I love jewelry, so I started making it. And it became an obsession, so I made so much of it, I had to start selling it. Um, and what I found was fun about the jewelry is I utilize anything I get my hands on. I live in Hunter's Point now, so lots of broken glass on the sidewalk. My car was just broken into, but I saved the glass from that and used that. Um, and then when I use things like that, I watch people when they come by, if I'm doing a fair or what have you, and their faces light up because then they realize that the dish they just broke at home, they shouldn't have thrown away. They should have saved for me. So it's fun to get people to use their imagination again, and that's what I try to do with my jewelry. Cynthia's parents, now both retired, have also discovered their artistic talents. Her dad is taking classes at the Sharon Art Studio. I work for Chevron, uh, call myself a floor fly clerk. <laughs> and uh, I was with them for uh, about 29 years. And uh, since I retired, uh, all the things I want to do, I haven't done because I just got interested in doing uh, clay. And I spent most of my time doing that. Life is great, especially with the wife. <laughs> Can't be any better. Now, this one over here is uh, just a dancer that I decided to do a dancer. Uh, the one, the, first, the one over there, away in the corner, on top there is my very first one. And then uh, they really don't represent anything that I dream of, but you know, at night or inspired from. It's just using my hands. And, of course, I, I, I tried to, to uh, start out with what a, a type of a form I want. Other than that, everything just uh, let nature take its course. Cynthia's mother, who has also taken ceramics classes, helps create some of the backings for her designs. It's funny how our families basically evolved because my pieces are based on what my mom is making for me because she's also a ceramicist. So she gives me all these strange shapes and colors and then he also contributes to that and all our work just seems to all mesh together and I think it's brought us together as a family. Um, before we were pretty scattered, I was kind of the wild one in the family. Um, but now we're connecting on this level and it's a lot of fun and I'm, I'm really proud of both of them actually. I think the main thing that I want to get across with my pieces are that people need to, to learn how to use their imaginations again. 
it's too easy to just go to the store and buy what you want instead of thinking that if you turned this object this way, it could be useful and it could be something great in your apartment or your house. And my, my jewelry is all about that, learning how to see opportunities and possibilities in, in life in general. Um, and the other thing is people just seem to connect with every single piece. There's just one person that belongs to one piece of jewelry. I could have a piece for a year and just the right person will find it. It's really, it's fun. It's a lot of fun for me. If you missed the opportunity to visit Cynthia Tom at Hunters Point last week, and you can reach her by calling Eclectic Endeavors at area code 415-695-0344.